Hi guys, it's me again Rose from the Philippines. Uh, welcome to my channel. It is called Ganchillera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related items. So welcome to my new and old subscribers. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit with me. Uh, this is my 241st podcast. It is October 29, 2019, a Tuesday. Uh, I was able to make a video last Sunday for my regular podcast, but I didn't like how it came out, so I'm trying it again today. Uh, the kids are not here, they are on their sand break, and they are at their grandparents' house at Antipolo along with Daniel. So they're gonna be there for a week, I guess. So I took the opportunity to show you guys the projects, the undertakings that I have been doing this past days. So I'm happy to announce that I have put up the beaded assembly starter kit on Shopee. So I'm just gonna show you uh, the overall of this uh, container or this kit. So this is how it looks like. This is a 6x3 container with um, added dividers to them so for this one i have put out the dividers for the uh, the top and the middle compartment so as to put uh, for the top part i have put three colors of acrylic cross bead in white red and blue uh, for the second layer i have put three colors of the chalk bead that are white Pusha pink and cream and for the lower part I have some for the single compartments I have put black green and yellow for the other ones I have 10 pieces of key rings 10 pieces of jump rings 10 pieces of cell phone charm connector and three lobster lock so along with this kit are two nylon monoline string that are 37 meters so if you are interested with them, I will put my Shopee link on the description box below if you want to purchase one. This is for beads assembly and not for jewelry making. I had a problem with putting the wrong category or subcategory for this. Uh, instead of putting modeling materials, I have put others. So I had a bit of a problem with that on Shopee. But, I was able to put it up and I have two available in stock. So, I have two of them now. Uh, so, if you are, um, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link on the description box below. So, I'm not calling them big starter kits since I have seen on Shopee that those are for jewelry making. And these are for beads assembly for whenever you want to try out the tutorials I have put up for making wallets and keychains and recently the beaded lepers. So this has been on our mind, my Ate and I. It was an idea from us. But it's just now that I was able to pull it through or to push it through. So I'm quite happy about that. Uh, so those are the bead starter kit uh, i have filled up all of it so for the colors here i have put red blue and white along with some yellow so if ever you want to make some flag wallet you can make them and i have also put here some yellow and black for whenever you want to try out the hello kitty wallet and i also have put some of the green for the leaf part of some of one of the wallets that I have up so I just put them here in some small compartments because you just need small amounts of them so along with that I'm happy to announce that I am finished with the beaded letters tutorial series I was able to put up the letter Y last time and recently, just yesterday, I was able to put up the letter T. Or this way. And Ms. Z is very happy that I have put that up. Since that is the start of uh, her name, the letter. So hi Ms. Z. 
a belated happy birthday and thank you for supporting me with my uh, beaded letters tutorial. I have dedicated that tutorial for her since it starts with the letter C. So those are the two tutorials and I will put the playlist for that on the description box below also. Uh, so now for some crochet and craft, other crafts. So I wanted to show you the finished object that I have for the top that was inspired from Miss Seta. So Stella is wearing it right now. These are some black stitches that I turned into panels. And I have sewn uh, this part here. The first try that I did was to connect them. I, I tried uh, sewing them here on this edge part but it didn't work out quite well. So what I did was I sew it inwards in here and here and it works quite okay and then what I did was I also sew it on this side and also I have put some do four double crochets for the yoke part and it has a hole on the sleeves part right here so this is how it turns out and the one that I have seen from Miss Seta is I think she worked on it horizontally while I did this vertically. So this is the front and you can reverse it. You can use uh, this back part as the front and this front back, front part as the back. So I have already uh, taken photos of it and I am planning on uh, putting it on my Shopee account also. So this will be categorized as a top that is a halter top since it is very short and i think that a teenager and someone in her mid-twenties can wear this since i think this is a small size and i really need to learn the sizes for the garment since i am putting them on the shop i have to put some specifications about them there so i really need to learn uh, how to classify them so this is how it turns out i'm pretty happy with it and i have another one the first one that i have made but i didn't like how the colors came out so i'm thinking of turning that into a rectangular shawl instead so that is one of my four and i have been working on more granny squares so you may have seen me fill up this container here these are for the snacks of the kids called Stiko. so i have filled this one but the other day uh, the kids has also finished eating with another one so i was able to take the container from them so i have been filling up this other one here but i also have <laughs> been having two smaller ones so for these two ones i have filled them to the brim and i have been using the uh, 15 gram balls that i bought from tabora in different colors for them and i have used up most of them so i really needed to purchase more in other colors so most of the colors here are in um uh, uh, pastel colors but I have um, I have uh, made them into uh, four rounds of granny squares so for the leftovers I am going to turn them into three rounds or more or lesser so I'm happy that this has been my side uh, side project and I'm happy filling them up I'm thinking of turning them into an afghan or a table runner so it is really uh, convenient that these containers are see-through so that you will know what colors you needed you have done already and you needed to work on next so those are my granny squares adventures and yesterday after working on some flowers using mercerized cotton yarn 
I was able to pick up the Stuart Amigurumi and I was able to work on the features of it like the hands and the legs so this is how it is from the last that I have shown you so yesterday I was able to make the eye and since I have already written the, spe the specifications for that I was able to follow it from the written one that I have made and I have also made the feet part along with his boots also I was able to make uh, the two arms but they are missing the gloves part which is in black and then I was able to make the pocket so I'm going to assemble them and also put them on my Shopee account I think this this is my sixth or fifth uh, Stuart Amigurumi. The first one my cousin bought, bought from me. The second one was the twin one that my aunt uh, bought from me. And this might be the sixth or the fifth one. I think the last one mama's friend that got home from Canada bought it from me. So, sorry the electric fan is jiggling the camera. And today, it is a bit dim and I'm thinking that it's gonna rain. So, those are the uh, whip that I have. And those are most of the things that I want to share with you guys. That I have put here. Uh, so, now for some light stuff. <laughs> and also... Uh, Marius have been drawing some landmarks like this one that he has seen on the internet. He's really good at uh, making them and practicing working on them on paper. And he has drawn this in pencil and I just bolded the lines with a ball pen. And I'm really amazed at his work. It says, and as you can see, there is this Eiffel Tower here. There is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The other ones I'm not really familiar with. But there's this Coliseum. And I think he said that this is the White House. And there are other ones which is pretty cool. Like this one is Mount Rushmore and the Pyramids. So I really love uh, collecting his works and storing them for when he wants to see it in the future so that is also an, a crafty uh, thing in a way so uh, recently I have been addicted with this series on Netflix called The Big Bang Theory uh, from the last times um, Marius and my brother-in-law has uh, brought it to my attention but it's just recently that I have watched it and after uh, after watching the pilot episode I got hooked and has been binge watching it recently and I'm on my season 3 now but we had a problem with our Netflix so I wasn't able to continue on uh, watching it but that has been one of the things that I've been doing recently so because it is not available for now I have been looking for other things to do on uh, the internet so one of them I stumbled upon is uh, listening to audiobooks so at night I have been listening to audiobooks and I have encountered uh, some from Miss Debbie Maycomber so that is how you pronounce her name I used to pronounce it Macomber but the one that I heard from the internet is Mikomer. So, I have been listening to one of, of her audiobooks at night. And it runs for about 2 hours. So, I just uh, listened to it for about 15 minutes or so. And one of the stories caught my attention. And last Thursday, I was able to have myself registered for the PWD allowance that was taken from uh, a covered court in one of the barangay here, barangays here in Tondo. So I was able to line up for that 
and I'm pretty happy that I have been I have a chatty uh, seatmate <laughs> that I wasn't bored with the line uh, I went with my cousin uh, Dalby as a, rep as a representative for her uh, sister but they said that they wouldn't able to take her because the actual person needed to be there for the teacher so I have done that last Thursday as a registration for my PWD allowance that is going to take place next year I guess so last Saturday was Sophie's ninth birthday and in the evening Kuya was able to bring her some cake and we were able to sing for her and had her wish uh, out before blowing the candle. So she's nine now and time is passing by so very fast. I remember having her on my one of my earlier videos of me um, opening the package from Miss Jan. I was with her during that time and I have a video of that. And I'm happy that I have those videos to look to in the future or in the present so that I can see their growth <laughs> and I'm pretty happy seeing all of it uh, now that I can so those are most of it the kids went to Auntie Polo for their stem breaks with their other grandparents aunts and titos there so yesterday someone put up an order for one of the tumbler holders on my Shopee account and I'm pretty happy to have another sale since it took about three months <laughs> since my first sale so I'm hoping that someone will also buy from me uh, some of the other items that I have put there and I'm hoping in the future to put more of them I have been thinking of putting the scarflets next and the headbands but for the headbands I needed to put or make the flower appliques first for the scarflets it's a little bit short so I'm kinda doubting if I can put it online and I have other ones just like this top here that I wanted to put up so that is gonna be in the future so once again if you are interested with the bead starter kit I will put my Shopee link on my description box below uh, these items are only available here in the philippines we are not able to uh, export our items yet in other countries and one of my friends has been asking about one of the tops but i wasn't able to tell her that she can get it since it is only available here in the philippines I think those are most of it and since I have done the uh, I'm done with the beaded letters now I'm anticipating more tutorials and I have some samples for wallets just like the cylindrical one and I also am thinking about putting up a mega rooming tutorial since uh, uh, one or more of my subscribers have been asking for them. One request is for the We Bear Bears Amigurumis. So I needed to make a prototype of it, which is a smaller one. Also for the Luna and Artemis uh, Amigurumis. I'm really not that confident in working on tutorials for Amigurumis yet. But I will try my best. Um... And I'm thinking of making my other tutorials into Tagalog, which is our native language, because um, plenty of my subscribers have been asking me about that. So I think those are most of it. Uh, Mama is sewing outside, making some uh, bed sheets or bed covers. And uh, yeah, it's Tuesday. And we want to go to Trinoma to have one of the cell phones checked and maybe repaired. So I think that's it from me. I hope you guys have a fun time uh, crocheting or doing some crafts, maybe diamond painting. And I hope you also have some family bonding time. 
and some relaxing time after a day's work. So that's it from me. Bye for now.